Willkommen! Es ist Bifelabart mit Welter Warplanes 2.0. Den Schiller ganz bitte. Meine Deutsch ist schlecht. So, moving past that, uh, my German is kind of rusty and bad anymore. So, this is World of Warplanes 2.0, and in this part of the series, I'm going to be featuring the German tech trees. And in that, I'm going to be working towards unlocking everything. And we'll do a split on each video going down the fighter tree, heavy fighter, or attack aircraft, and try to feature one line in each video. And with that, um, we'll go ahead and get started. And I think what we're going to end up doing is, since this is a fresh account, I don't have anything, but I do have, for some reason, some free experience. So I'm going to utilize that free experience and we're going to go right into the tech tree for this. Now, in order to unlock the other aircraft in this tech tree, on this particular one, I'm going to have to unlock the airframe, which is then going to allow me to unlock this aircraft. I'm going to have to unlock the engine, and then it'll allow me to unlock these two. So let's see what we can do, since I have, for some reason, 1,220 free experience, and I have not done a single flight yet. In fact, instead, we're going to go ahead, since this is a brand new series and brand new fresh account, we're going to go ahead and, and do a quick flight with the Tier 1 aircraft and use whatever experience that I get with it to actually unlock everything, just to kind of flow with the series instead of utilizing my free experience, which I'm going to use very quickly, but let's go ahead and just jump right into it. First thing you need to always do when you get a new aircraft or when you start a new account or whatever is you need to select the service tab because if you do not you do not have any ammo whatsoever in your guns so I'm going to click here I'm going to select standard or universal which huh is odd I don't have any money hmm so if I don't have any money do I have any guns so let's find out let's see what happens I'm going to go ahead and click Battle. You have a choice between Training Flight or Combat Flight. Training Flight pretty much does nothing unless you just fly around. The results do not carry over. So we're going to stick with Combat Flight. Everything default, I'm not changing anything. I'm going right into a battle and let's see what happens. And of course an airplane is going to fly over in real life. So if you can hear that, I apologize. Now. It's going to give you a brief overview. This is a conquest mission, and it's going to put you in queue. And now, if there's not enough players, once you reach, reach the maximum time in queue, it will just throw you into a battle, and every other slot that's available will then become used by a computer-controlled AI or a bot. So it will be a full battle. You'll still be able to go in even if there's nobody else queuing up for a Tier 1 flight right now you're still going to be able to get a flight or a match even if the rest of the opponents are entirely made up of bots so okay it's going into one I'll take that time and go ahead and make me some coffee now you can sit here and let this screen go over but now if you mouse over forward airstrip is going to give you three influence every five seconds it can also become a new spawn point. Um, and it tells you the basic attacks for what you need to do with your particular role. And it's going to take me out of that and go right into the, the mission. I can hit tab and I can see that, well, there's a dragon fire. That's probably a real person. Show me what you can do, pilot. Tier 2s. Okay. So what we're going to do is, since we're in a... Um, multi-roll. Moving the mouse around is how you control the aircraft. Bank left from right, go up and down. You use your right key to roll right. And of course left key to roll left. Your S key would actually slow your aircraft down. So if you're moving in too fast, if you're coming too fast, oh, sorry, um, you can actually hit that key and it'll slow you down so you can actually get on target a little bit faster.
Well, if you can hear the difference of the hits in the audio, but you can tell when you're actually making your hits. Hitting the W key is going to give you an acceleration or a boost. You see, I've been shooting for too long. My weapon's overheated. All right. Now, white aircraft are the normalized aircraft that are patrolling the bases. Red aircraft are either other players or bots. They're the enemy team. He's trying to trick me out to go in towards the wall. Kind of clever. My guns were overheating. All right, so the so red is going to be the other team. White is going to be the AI that guards a specific location. And as you can see, red's taking control of this. Don't exactly have the range on this particular set of guns. Now, just destroying all the aircraft is not going to um, give you the, the battle. You actually need to go out and you need to eliminate ground targets. See, he's making a, a ground attack run. You want to prevent them from taking out all the targets because if the other team takes out all the targets first, they will actually capture it while you're sitting here worrying about shooting down aircraft. Colliding with heavier aircraft will actually cause heavy damage. Now I can sit here and get into a turning fight with this guy and I might win. I might not. If you get into a turning fight and you, you're not making any progress towards getting on to him, getting your guns on target, Your team needs to make all those the ground hits. Let me keep backing off on my speed. Try to get some distance here. The enemy team is, has made really good progress towards taking out the, the ground targets. So I need to start working on some of these ground targets as well. But all I have is guns. I don't have any bombs or any rockets. So it's going to be more difficult. Our heavy attack planes need to really get their butts in here and do some work. So since I have no real decent ground attack, it might actually be in my best interest to go ahead and focus these red aircraft and get them out. Red is always more important to deal with than white. The white's going to keep respawning. Oh yes, any aircraft. Gotta love it. Red is about to take control of this. Now, I knew that I couldn't turn in on that red guy because I'd be going way too fast. So I needed to get some distance behind him. You can see I got picked off by another player because I was focused in on a bot. Now, being that I died, as you can see, it's preparing. It will actually let you respawn, and you can select. I'm already on this particular one here, or I can select this one down here to spawn from, which I'll probably go ahead and change to here because I see we got another uh, enemy coming in. And now, when you see the red battle, you can hit space bar, or you can click the battle button and go ahead on in. Now, I'm going to definitely need to make sure this guy doesn't make any progress towards taking out our base because he can actually come in. Start taking out ground targets and steal our base from us. So denied. And we need to get back over here and it's split one each. Need to actually take out the control of that airfield. Instead of trying to take over their base, what the best thing to do is since the northern airfield is not under control by anybody yet, will be to actually 
Yes, yes. Low tier. Engine is not very stable, so you can't run the boost for very long. But I'm going to ignore that base to my left. And I'm going to go try to help my team capture if possible. And they already did. And somebody spotted me in here. It's an air defense aircraft. And I have something a little bit too close to my tail. Alright, whenever you hear that, that means that essentially very soon, and you see 30 seconds of squall line, that means you will not be able to respawn. This guy is another player, so he's a, a force that I'm going to have to deal with. As long as he's worried about going after somebody else, he's not going to be as worried about going after me. And he just tried to evade it and ran himself into a wall. Air defense and bot aircraft will try to ram your ass. So that's something you definitely got to worry about. Alright, I'm taking way too much damage and now I am out. Taken out by a player. All right, so you get the idea, and there's a lot of things you need to do to try to evade being destroyed. The best thing I could have done was actually peel back, head towards one of my bases, since right now it's a close battle. You know, blue team is winning, so it would have been okay. And we're going to hit S screen, so we're going to look at the, the, the video of what's going on. So you can watch the, the view from another aircraft in kind of a movie format. It's a pretty cool feature. Not really necessary, but eh, kind of cool. But you see it's 50-50. Well, it was. They took the airfield from us. So that's going to allow them to start getting more points. And even though blue team was winning, now that um, red team controls three, or actually two out of the, the one capturable bases. You can see they have two, we have one. Even though they were losing, they're going to probably win simply because the blue team is not able to capture another point. Turn back. The enemy yeah. force is too strong. So, metal-wise, what did I get? Flying start. I destroyed at least three aerial targets. Cool. Sky Knight. It's the first time I've seen this one. Um, awarded once for destroying an air defense aircraft. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Perfect shot. Awarded once for damaging an aerial target with forward firing weapons. Okay. This right here. Best result grade 5 multi role fighter. Uh, it was an efficiency rating. I'm sorry. Did I tell you to go back to the main menu? That's kind of annoying, but so is the fact that it forces this back up on top of us. So we'll click back on the summary screen to get back to where we were. See, this is what I achieved from the battle. And I got a token for our first medal of the day. So, yeah, the grade 5 multi-role fighter. You'll get different grade ratings across the board. And I'm not going to go into explaining them right now. Rank in combat group 2 means I was the second highest um, scoring player on my team. Boeington Medal Class 4. They got at least 300 capture points, so I got the Boeington Medal. And Flying Raider Badge for achieving maximum efficiency in completing an aircraft type specific mission sector attack. Okay, cool. Alright, so. GY6, got your 6. That wasn't my choice of clan names, but okay, whatever it kind of fits in this game of a mission role to try to always look out for somebody else's tail and try to get someone else's six, you know.
I'm not going to explain it anymore. It's, it's cool in this game. I'll let it ride. Alright, so it gives you a bunch of different um, stuff on your personal score. You mouse over like this right here. And total added to account is what you, you actually grossed on this, which was 5,873 credits. Awesome. And free experience received was 25. Total added to the account was 515. So, cool. And then you can look at the team score. You can see I had 7,000 points. I didn't do spectacular, but I had 7,000 points. Um, enough to get the second highest score on the team. Alright. Secret project. Um, essentially, for completing different things throughout the day, you can actually use your tokens to do your daily missions and you get those. You click on the assemble button and you can select like the Blenheim. You use your tokens to actually purchase or get parts to assemble your aircraft for free. There's probably going to be enough videos on that so I'm not going to get into it. So what do we get? go on our upgrades here and we're gonna go ahead and, and start unlocking that way we can go ahead and be unlocking everything except for the fly fact that I was flying in the P-12 but we're gonna go ahead and start applying these towards the German check tree and I wanna go ahead and unlock all three of these aircraft so what I'll do is I'll click on Upgrades. I'll go ahead and research that. Research that engine. And now, the easiest way to do it, it, it may be an easier way, but I'll go ahead and I'll research this way. Go back to the airplane. Research this plane go back to the plane, research that one, and now I have all three of those unlocked. Now if I wanted to I could go ahead and unlock all the rest of the stuff on the AR-65 and it would become an elite status aircraft and it would earn more credits or whatever but I'm not really worried about it so much. But what we've done here is we have unlocked the tier twos across the board. Now I'm gonna leave this video where it is now and I'm gonna go ahead and start writing down one tree or another and I think what I'm gonna probably end up doing is kinda of toss right here on this whether I want to start with a fighter role or if I want to start with a heavy fighter or attack aircraft so with that I'll go ahead and decide which way I want to go and I'm gonna start unlocking my way through that I'm probably not gonna show every video in the series just because well may or may not once you get into the higher tiers, it's going to take multiple battles to unlock, and I'm sure nobody wants to sit there and watch me buy an aircraft and unlock every experience point along the way to upgrade to the next one. Um, you can experience that on your own. But what I'll do is I'll pick one, and I'll go from there, and I'll start working my way down. And I, I tend to lean towards iconic aircraft, so I'm going to always be working towards those. And for the German tree... The 109 is definitely an iconic aircraft, so I'm going to definitely be working towards completing the 109 tree and also the the 110 series, just because I think they're an iconic aircraft as well for me. The ME-262, for sure, an iconic aircraft, and we'll definitely end up having that one. So if I start doing the, the heavy fighter role, I'm going to maybe do a road to the ME 262 and that line ends out at tier 10 with an F117 looking variation of the ME 262 I've never heard of but yeah whatever we'll do a the road to the 262 um, the I always referred to them as an ME 109 because it's a Messerschmitt aircraft I may be wrong I don't care um, but the Road to the BF-109 series, and then, of course, the iconic FW-190. Since that tree runs all the way down into Tier 7, 
we'll run that as a series as well. We'll take a look at the oddballs too, but all right. So we'll leave it from there. See you in the next one.